Alright, so this is the next video that I'm doing. Um, after the uh, magnet video that I made, I got a question on um, how am I going to do the magnet on my ball predator. Alright, so I have it set up right now. I haven't painted the area yet, but I have the magnets in place. Um, okay, here's the ball predator right here. You can see uh, this is the, uh, whatever it's called, the little uh, metal slot, I guess, that holds the uh, sponson in, in place. Um, haven't uh, highlighted the pieces yet. Um, this is the top, this is the target, I guess, for it. Right, and here's the heavy bolter. Haven't highlighted it yet. Okay. Of course, pay, paint all the pieces separately. Okay, as you can see here, pieces separately. Okay, and then uh, you place it together. I put the little piece in there. And what I did was I cut it right here, and this is the magnet that I have right here. Right, and then I painted it with the uh, skull white because I'm going to be painting it silver so it kind of blends in. Here's the uh, underneath the sponson right here. I have the magnet in place. Okay, it's being held together by green stuff. Blue and yellow equals green. All right, I let that dry for a couple hours. Just a little bit will do, just to keep it secure. Sticks out a little bit. I tried drilling a little bit, but I didn't want to destroy this top piece too much. Um, can't really tell um, that it sticks out anyway too much because of the angle you'll be seeing everything on the board anyway. So again, unhighlighted, unpainted magnet area. All right, so there you go. Magic, not really. It's just uh, magnets. Right, let me get a better view here. Get off my chair and get down a little bit. All right, so you can see right there underneath a little bit. There's the painted bolter right in place with the uh, magnet. Okay. See, then you can get it. It swivels right on the magnet right there. Okay, here's another view. Alright, this is uh, unhighlighted as well, right there. Not fully painted. Uh, this side is fully highlighted though, I think. Yep. Alright, so, and then I'm just going to be uh, gluing that targeter on there. I tried several ways, this seems to be the best way. I don't mind the targeter just being straightforward anyway. Um, and then again, you know, get that damage result or even for transporting issues, pop that right off. That way it doesn't snap off, because again, this piece, I mean, it's really thin. It's a really thin piece, and it's going to snap off probably in transport. I don't know why they made it that way. I mean, it's, cool, uh, it's a cool way they made it, but it's just really thin, and I, I just don't want my pieces snapping off too easily. So I cut it right here, right on that little piece, right in half. Gives me enough room to put that sponson right on there. All right, cool. And then here's uh, my early uh, Christmas present here, Mephiston. Yeah, I'm gonna be painting him. Probably be taking a little break from this after I uh, do a little bit of touch-ups on that one side right there. I'm gonna be hitting him, give him a cool base. Let's see. Oh, a sneak peek of what my Mephiston's gonna be looking like. Okay, so here's the base. I got a really cool base from the uh, that slate kit you get. At Games Workshop. This little this little bad boy. Give him a really badass base. I don't know. Too much light, maybe. There you go. All right, he's gonna have that base. So a little flare there. And then this is from the uh, Commander's kit, I guess, with the uh, double eagles and the iron halo, and that's gonna be going on his back to make him even look more badass than he already is. Strength 5, Toughness 5, Space Marine. 3 Psychic Powers. You kidding me? Alright. I'm not kidding you.